Hey guys, I just want to do a little vid on the update on the helmet. So, this is it uh, so far. I've done most of the details, um, basic details, with the lines, the edges, and um, just getting in the corners. Um, I finally got some body filler, so I did some work on here. And um, right now I'm just mimicking, mimicking it, um, making it all symmetrical to this side. So, um, yeah, I'm currently working on that, so I can get it all straight. So, um, as you can see, I've added little bits of detail, not much, like these bits and just the little bits of detail. But, um, I've been going off reference picks and I'm getting all the little corners, like this, this little bit here and that little edge. If you're not sure you can see it just there, it goes in and down. Yeah, um, so I'm basically going off the reference picks um, straight off the game. I did a lot of reconstruction with the nose. Um, originally this was in probably about there, but I completely took it back um, for about 5 mil to a centimeter, um, make it a bit more bigger, and added some. Um, um, so like a, this bit is actually goes on top, so I had to cut in between, down into the corners. Um, probably won't get what I'm trying to make, um, but just been straightening up some lines and fixing it up. So this is just a little helmet update. Um, it's all going well. Um, so far it looks pretty good. Still need to finish it off. And once I've done um, fixing up all the detail, get it all looking like this, just smooth and all the basic detail, I'm going to go and do the finer stuff that will go into these bits and all the little marks that you usually don't see on other people's helmets. So this is just a little update. Um, so yeah, um, also I had a guy um, uh, a few people question me about what foam I use. Um, it's basically a camping mat. I'm using it for this flying. Um, just, yeah. It's basically this. It's just a camping mat. It's uh, It comes in rolls. Um, it's probably about know, four to eight bucks. I get it from a local store. Um, I do not know the brand, but when I find out, I'll um, I'll put it in the um, description. Um, I just got to find out what brand it is. It's a very cheap foam, as you can see. It's from all the little dents and cuts. It is really easy to puncture, so that's why I'm using it for the um, undersuit because it. Um, this is different compared to um, the foam that I'm using for the undersuit. This is just a little bit thicker. The foam I'm using is probably um, take maybe two mil off of it. But um, I'll take you to my room and we'll have a look at the um, suit and we'll talk a bit more about the foam. Guys, I thought I'm um, back in my room. Um, the main pieces of foam that I use for this build, the undersuit, which is this camping mat um, sort of foam. The floor mats, which are much thicker. And these are actually came in packs. They're craft foam. Um, so I basically use these for the details. So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, the foam for the undersuit, is, which is just here, um, it, it just came a standard camping mat. It was rolled up. It's just full like this. Um, it's probably about, what, three four mil um yeah i think it is okay yeah so um and what i did i got a i made a tool to custom make all these little holes and that um so this with the dremel so i went with the dremel and jabbed it a lot of times kept it in a pattern to keep it nice and um clean so as you can see the lines usually meet up so um, yeah, that's basically what I did for the undersuit. Um, 
it's yeah that blue foam that you saw it's a bit more thicker so that's why I used it for the cod piece but um this stuff it is very flexible um, but it's um, really easy to puncture um, which is kind of bad so that's why I don't use it for my main bulking of the suit because if, if I use it for my um, chest piece for an example um, it's very it's very flexible so it won't hold together as sturdy as this so um because that's pretty sturdy for foam and um so basically I've used it for these bits um, so yeah um, as you can see the suit is all black it is plasti dipped um, just have to bring it over here so this is the back um, I did the same camping foam down the mat I kept the basic design there so um I didn't really need to do here because they're going to be hidden under the top of the chest piece so um yeah basically this whole bit it was just a camping mat I just got a signet of mine I put it on top then I made it a bit larger than the singlet um, to give a bit more moon, not room for movement and um, this here is some uh, fabric um, that I just hot glued there um, because this stuff it cannot uh, I'll show you in a sec with this stuff it's not very yes it's very flexible but it's not really sh um, stretchy so um, it doesn't stretch that far it's just um yeah so um and it punctures really easily so if I were just to graze this just like that probably can't see yeah but um it really like just takes punctures a hell lot more easier than um big than the denser foam that I use for the main suit this stuff is a lot more thicker um, it can take a bit more abrasion so um, yeah as you can see it's little bits but not really enough to throw out the piece so um, yeah that's why I use the um, camping mat which I will find the brand for um, basically to make the undersuit of the um, uh, uh, Halo 4 Master Chief suit. Um, so, yeah, that's just a little update. Um, I'll find out the brand of the foam, but um, what what you can do, um, I just got this from a, a hob, uh, it was a little um, cheap shop. It, it only cost four bucks. It was very cheap for this stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's basically what I use for the undersuit um, if you got any more questions just let me know if I didn't quite answer it in this video just uh, just add another comment and please explain it a bit more um, yeah but just a little insight of sort of the foam that I use um, for the undersuit is a lot different for what I am using um, for the bulk of the suit so this is, uh, what is it, what, what account is this, Daniel Venue, okay, this is Daniel, and just letting you know, I'll have this suit finished soon, as the helmet will be done, hopefully by next week, so subscribe, um, just keep updated on my channel, and hopefully you'll see this suit finished within the next few days, oh, well, weeks, two weeks. So, that's me. Thank you guys, I made a whole heap of padding for the suit as well. Um, these are using old shirts and this f cushion foam that I just cut up and using old shirts and just hot glued together. So, um, it's going to be used for padding. I create a whole different range of small and big ones for the forearms and everything. So, um, and I also want to show you, you never... You guys hardly see the back. There's a 
back, a bit more of an idea. Um, uh, okay, um, what I've done, as you can sort of see, is wearing a mic. Because in there, if you can see, I've got a little PA system, sort of, that blares th out through here. So, um, to turn it on, you just press, where is it? Okay, I can't see, I'm going off the camera. That's the volume, it's this one. Turn it on, and the mic, as you, as you can hear, it's just, it's very clear. It um, plays music as well, while you're, talking on the mic so it's very handy so I decided to put that in the chest piece because when I'm wearing the helmet people will find it harder to hear you so um, yeah this is basically just a mic I bought off eBay um, I'll put a video of the unboxing and a little review of it up soon but um, this bit was really uncomfortable so I just got a bit of foam there so, um, just to pad my ear a bit um, yeah, so that's just a little, um, placement of where this is going, and it's going in the chest piece. I made a little slot that it slots into there, and it blares music out through the top bit, so, um, basically going to the front of the people. It's not, um, blaring straight down into the suit, which I'm really happy with that now. It also came with a, uh wireless remote which is really good because um, I can change songs and the mode and whatever I want but to do that I just got to reach just about here I'm not sure if you can see like just there just enough that um, the signal can get past this which which is pretty easy so you just go skip song whatever and do it like that okay so that's just a little update on the um, mic in that and the padding that I will be installing soon.